Hi there, my name's Michaela and today I'll be taking you on a journey through the state-of-the-art Monash Science Precinct, course entry requirements and other fun facts about Monash Science. Before we get into the nitty-gritty, let's take a quick tour around the Science Precinct with Justina and Dylan. Welcome to the Monash Science Precinct. I'm Justina and I'm studying a double degree in Science and Arts, majoring in Genetics. And I'm Dylan, studying a Bachelor of Science, majoring in Chemistry. Come with us and we'll show you around. One of the first things you'll notice when you step onto the campus are the incredible state-of-the-art buildings. This is the New Horizons Centre, which is home to the Physics and Astronomy Research Labs. And this is the Green Chemical Futures Building, home of all things chemistry. We will work in small lab groups to do lots of really cool experiments, like this titration. Each group of 16 has its very own teaching assistant, such as Winston, so you can ask lots of different questions. Jock Marshall Reserve is Australia's only on-campus teaching wetland and bushland complex, where students can undertake a wide range of field investigations and experiments, and then analyse their results in the on-site biological sciences lab. The Monash Collaborative Teaching Model moves away from large lectures towards an active learning approach. Students work in small groups to solve problems and participate in hands-on activities with the support of not just the lecturer, but teaching assistants as well. This is the Physics and Astronomy Collaborative Learning Environment. And this is the Maths Learning Centre, where you can get help with your studies or challenge yourself further. Pass or peer-assisted study sessions is an academic mentoring program. These weekly study groups are really popular with first year students and a great way to make new friends. And if you're feeling a bit peckish, grab a bite to eat at the campus centre before heading off to your next lecture. In here is the South One Lecture Theatre, where Dr Rowan Brooks is giving a lecture on scientific communication. Let's sneak in for a look. Art meets science here in our world-leading 2D and 3D virtual reality environment, the Cave 2. Right now, we're looking at a tractography of white matter in the human brain. To help students visualise Earth science concepts in 3D, the Augmented Reality Sandbox projects an overlay of scientific information onto the sand, which is sculpted and augmented in real time as the students move the sand around. Outside, the Monash Earth Sciences Garden, a unique, hands-on, outdoor teaching space for geology, physical geography and atmospheric sciences. It's the first of its kind in Australia and comprises of almost 500 rock specimens from across Victoria. When it's time to put your feet up, take a break at the Science Student Lounge. It's open 24-7 and a great place to work on group assignments together. This is the Highgrave Andrew Library. We can search for scientific information, We'll find a quiet space to study. And if you ever need advice, help is always on hand at Science Student Services, where you can discuss your course options with one of our friendly advisors. That was just a quick sneak peek at the Monash Science Precinct. If you'd like to find out more information about visiting us here at Monash, come to our open day or visit us at monash.edu slash science or on Facebook or Instagram. And now you've had a sneak peek at where you might be studying, let's talk about what you might be studying. At Monash, we have something for every science fanatic, with majors in all science areas, from biological and life sciences, the biomedical sciences, the chemical and physical sciences, and mathematics and computational science. What's a major, you might ask? A major is eight subjects taken through your course, allowing you to specialise or major in this area. At Monash, there are 25 majors and you can study a double major, which means that you'll be a specialist in two different areas. For example, if you're passionate about paleontology, you might study earth science and zoology. If you're keen to work in cancer research, you might study human pathology and immunology. And if you're looking at Monash science as a pathway to the doctor of medicine, you might study de developmental biology and physiology. There is lots of flexibility for complementary major pairings and for weird and wonderful combinations. You might even decide to do a couple of minors, which are four subjects long, in place of a double major. 
But don't stress about choosing your major right away. You can try a few different areas and then decide after your first year. At Monash, we offer five different science courses. The Bachelor of Science is our flagship degree and is a three-year course with lots of flexibility. We also have two advanced science courses, the Bachelor of Science Advanced Research and the Bachelor of Science Advanced Global Challenges, which both include a fourth honours year. An honours year is where students participate in a project or research thesis in a specialist area. We also have two new courses, the Bachelor of Applied Data Science and the Bachelor of Applied Data Science Advanced. In the next few slides, I'll go over the entry requirements and the key differences for each course. When you're looking at uni courses, it's really, really important that you know what the entry requirements are. Some have ATAR, subject prerequisites, or a range of criteria that you will need to meet in order to be eligible for entry to that course. If you don't meet these criteria, you will not receive an offer. For example, for the Bachelor of Science at Monash, the ATAR requirement is 85. Although this may change if you are eligible for C's, which is the Special Entry Access Scheme, or the Monash Guarantee. If you're eligible for the Monash Guarantee, you can be guaranteed a place in the Bachelor of Science if you attain a 75%, a 75 plus ATA and you meet all subject prerequisites. A subject prerequisite is one you'll need to have studied in your VCE or equivalent Year 12. All scores listed are raw scores, not scaled scores. For example, if you are eligible for the Monash Guarantee, got a 75 ATAR, a 26 in English and a 30 in Chemistry, it is likely you would be offered a place in the Bachelor of Science. If you study more than one science subject, you'll be eligible for the Subject Adjustment Bonus, which will have a positive effect on the rank of your ATAR. Also, I do just want to say, don't worry if you didn't quite get the ATAR or don't have the prereqs to get straight in. There are also many pathways to the Bachelor of Science. Check out the links below this video for more information about Pathways, C's, the Monash Guarantee, the Subject Adjustment Bonus and Subject Prerequisites for all of our courses. And now back to the Bachelor of Science. Some key positives are its flexibility, the fact you can study a double major and the fact that you don't need math methods to get into it. It's also a fantastic pathway into a number of different careers, including medicine, vet medicine, dentistry, psychology, physiotherapy, teaching, research, and the list goes on and on. If you haven't seen a course map before, I recommend starting to have a look at them during your research, as they are fantastic to help you visualise what your study pathway might look like into the future. You can also study the Bachelor of Science together with another degree at Monash. These double degree combinations are available. Almost 40% of science students at Monash study a double degree and they are attracted to students and employers alike as students emerge with complementary and interdisciplinary knowledge. It also means you can study science and still follow your passion in, say, jazz flute. Studying a double degree is an efficient way to get two qualifications in one and usually only takes one year longer than a single degree. Essentially, your electives will be cut and each degree becomes the elective for the other degree. Now, let's talk about some of the other science courses that you can study here at Monash. The Bachelor of Science Advanced Global Challenges is unique and the only course of its kind in Australia. It's a small cohort with about 30 to 40 students accepted per year and encourages leadership and entrepreneurship. If you like to solve problems and want to help better the world through science, then this is the course for you. Range of criteria means additional information is required for Global Challenges. You'll need to complete a written submission and if you're successful, you'll be invited to a short interview. The fourth honours year culminates with an Impact Through Science project. This is a real world application where students work within an organisation and undertake research on a particular issue and provide solutions using their science knowledge. The Bachelor of Science Advanced Research is perfect for students who think they might want to head into a research career or focus on a particular area of interest. If you're already advanced in your studies, you can choose to take higher level units and accelerate your learning. This means you might be studying second and third year subjects in your first year. You'll undertake research training from your second year and you can use your fourth year honours thesis as a potential pathway to a PhD. The Bachelor of Applied Data Science and its big brother, the Bachelor of Applied Data Science Advanced Honours, are two new exciting degrees that you can study here at Monash. If you like IT, computer science and maths, then this could be the perfect degree for you. 
Co-designed by the faculties of science and IT, this course has a strong, a strong focus on the challenges that large bodies of data present to many industries and contexts. Data challenges units are studio based, which allow students to take what they've learned and apply their knowledge to the real world. The honours year of the advanced version of this degree involves an exciting industry research project. Studying science at Monash isn't just about choosing a major and a course. It's also about the student experience. It doesn't matter which course you choose, Monash Science has a great cohort feel and you'll soon be right at home. There's even a special student lounge that only science students can access. There are a range of awesome opportunities to get involved in while you're here, including a peer mentoring program, handy peer assisted study sessions, and the Science Student Ambassador program that will help you develop your academic and employability skills. There are also many cool clubs and societies, such as MSS, which is the Monash Science Society, Mass Cubed, and Majors, the Monash Atmospheric Geosciences and Environmental Society, just to name a few. If you're looking to enhance your practical skills, you can also take part in a Science Industry Placement Unit or the Science in Schools Unit. And if you're keen to take your science further afield, there are lots of field trips, study abroad and exchange opportunities. For example, Tropical Terrestrial Biology in Borneo, the Marine Biology Field Trip at Heron Island, Sustainability in the Cinque Terre and Astronomy in Prato, Italy, just to name a few. Well, that brings me to the end of our journey through Monash Science. If you have any burning questions that I didn't answer above, check out the handy links below or feel free to email me here. Hopefully I'll see you at Monash in 2021.